Hi, in this session I'll show you how to animate an org chart. So what I mean by animate an org chart is I'll show you with this example. Let me put this into slideshow mode. And in slideshow mode, maybe we want to have it where the org chart shows up certain parts of the orgs first, maybe the CEO, and on a mouse click we'll show up the VP separately one by one, and then on another mouse click it shows the directors under one VP, and then with another mouse click another director, and with the final mouse click the managers under that director. So I can show you how to create this animation. Let me go ahead and click to get out of the slideshow view. And let's go ahead and show you how this is done. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. Or maybe I'll just create a new one and I'll just have a, a couple less boxes. And what I'll do is I'll just create a new slide. And I'll just remove that. And maybe just bring over the CEO slide. I'll select that copy, right click, copy, and just go here and paste. Well, I just go here and click paste and it will show up. Let me just go ahead and get rid of this title. Click the title, press delete. So let me go ahead and move the CEO box up a bit. Now I want to create these lines that I showed earlier. And to create those lines, basically they're just a combination of separate lines. So with that, so with that I can either go into the drawing grouping and select that or I can go into insert and go to the illustrations grouping and select shapes and we have these lines here. But since I've already got this opened I'm just going to select this line and I'm going to create a line here and that will be that line and I'm going to go ahead and create another line. I'm just going to go back to this home tab since I have this open here I just and this will stay open I'm just going to go and select that. I'm going to bring that down here so it connects and then I'll just go ahead and select that, right click to copy, and then right click anywhere here and just click paste. Oops, not that one. Let me go ahead and undo. Right click to copy because that, that pasted a picture. Let me go ahead and just. I can also use the keyboard shortcuts Control C to copy and then Control V to paste. And let me move it down here. Or let me show you another example of making duplicates of this is you can just select it. And instead of using Control C and V to copy and paste, you can just go use Control D to duplicate that object. So I'm going to duplicate this object. I'm just going to create a couple here. And let me go ahead and just create two VP boxes. Now let's make it a little close. Let's make it uh, far out here to kind of look like it fits here. So I'm going to make the lines come down. So I'm going to create another line. This one coming down here, and this one click that and this one coming down here. So let's just even even this out, align it correctly and let's see, does this one align? Yeah, that one aligns there. And now this is CL, this is going to be VP1 and this will be VP2 and let's create uh, a director line here. So what I'm going to do is select that and then press control D to duplicate, control D to duplicate, and now I've got I'm going to create two directors here. And probably do the same here and make another line going down. I'll make this line see how see how see how these two these smaller boxes show up? So it helps align the line to that object. Now I'm going to create another line that goes across here and then another line that goes down and another line that goes down here and I'm going to line these up a little bit better select that and use my arrow key to line that up and that looks okay see how that is doesn't really line up too well let me go ahead and just move that down a little bit alright and then I'm going to go ahead and just create another just maybe maybe one more box here this is going to be director so I'm going to go DIR one and then DIR2. And maybe I'll just leave this. No, I might just have, have one director under here. So I'll go ahead and select that and just control D to duplicate that. And let's see, move it down here. You can see how the when you move it around, Excel kind of has these little guidelines to help you kind of line them up well. Alright, and so let me go ahead and create another line from the VP2 to this DIR. Let's make this DIR 3, Director 3. So I'm going to go ahead and make this line go down here. And I'm going to put two managers under Director 3. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Control D to duplicate twice. 
And let me put these down here. Let's see a little bit farther from each other. See how it lines up here? Let me make a line. And let me go ahead and select that. Make a line here. And select it again and make a line here. And select it again. Make one go here and another one go here. Let's see, let me line this up. Let me line this up. See how when I select it, when I select it once, and you see these dashed lines, that means you can edit the text here. But if I select it again, that means I can move around the the object here. Let me go ahead and line this up a bit better. So now we have kind of our our lines and our boxes, and let's see, I'm, I'm gonna name these correctly. Oops, that was a little bit too big. So maybe I'll just decrease. Oops, Control Z to undo that. Maybe I'll just reduce the font size, or just leave it Manager, I guess. Or I can call it Manager One, and then double click to select all that text and just reduce the font size for that. And then this will be Manager Two. Double click to select all the text. Let's see, reduce the font size there. Oops. Okay, now the part, now I've kind of framed out the, this org chart. What I need to do is also kind of group these lines together. This will be a group. This is going to be one group, this line. This line will also be a group, and this line is going to be a group. So what I need to do is I can just select anyone in here and just kind of left click and hold it. And see now it's selected these, so I'm going to right click that and cl click on group. And I'm going to do the same for these two. Select that group and then select this left click hold and select that right click and then group. So now these are grouped. And with this in mind, now I can start to do the animations. So I want to have the CEO is already going to show up first, and I want to have this line show up after I click. So I'm going to go select that and go under the animations tab, and I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. I'm going to select the entrance section. I'm going to have this wipe down. So now it, by default it wipes up. So I'm going to have it wipe down. And once you preview it, you can see that it's going to wipe down. Now, I usually like to have the animation pane show up here on the right so I can see how the, the how it plays out each of the animations. So well, let me go ahead and start. We're going to do the same now. So what we want to do is once we click, did a, do a click on the mouse, this group of lines shows up. Another click, VP1 and VP2 will show up. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and have it wipe down. And then this, see how it shows on click? This one I want to do following VP1. So I'm going to go ahead and click wipe and also click from top. And now it says on click, so I'm going to go ahead and say with previous. So it's going to do it at the same time. So you can see that these kind of, see how these bars are? So if I click play, you'll notice that they kind of play at the same time. Actually, this one I want to have, I want to do this one after this one. So let me click on that. Ah, uh, that's fine actually. This is unclick. This one will be after after this line, and this one it will follow this because this is previous. So basically, we want to do this the same with all these other lines. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through this video a little bit, um, and you'll kind of see what I'm doing it. But I won't go. I won't describe it. But you'll see that it's basically doing the same things that I'm doing up here, as I showed you up here with the lines, and then these box objects. So let me go ahead and kind of speed through this video right now.
in the animation pane, click play, you can see how it goes through it. See how the line goes through it. And if I click on the slideshow view, you can see that I have my CEO box show up first. One mouse click, it's going to sh show the two VP showing up, the line coming down first. A second mouse click, that VP line and the director boxes shows up. Another click, we'll see the VP line, VP2 line and director 3 show up. And then a final click with the managers under this director line. So that's kind of a brief summary of how you can do it. So org charts can get quite large, but this is kind of a small example of how you can animate the parts, animate portions of an org chart showing up uh, one step at a time. Uh, so depending on the size of the org chart you want to animate, it might take a little longer, but if you have a smaller org chart, it wouldn't take too long. So this is a, an example of how we can animate having things show up one step at a time. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.